Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you on how to use stable diffusions uh, image to image translation for getting results like this. This is a small video output I have put together in a couple of uh, hours using Inpunk diffusion model. And I'll be teaching you exactly how to recreate this. So for this, you just have to have a good graphic card to get the results quickly. Other than that, uh, that it's really simple to recreate uh, such results, right? Uh, okay. First, open your stable diffusion uh, stable diffusion web UI, right? Choose the model you want. I'm I'm choosing the Inkpunk diffusion model, right? And uh, go with the uh, image to image part, right? And you just have to choose your input video properly. So that you get an uh, interesting uh, result. So this is the input video I chose, and now I'm gonna translate it into image uh, into images using FMMPG, right? So first, I have already created it. Let me delete all the frames and the outputs I got, right? So we have frame two, which is frames two, which is empty. We have the video. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll also be sharing the code with you in the, the, uh, the description below. So to recreate everything. Uh, so simply, you go with uh, you go to the directory in which uh, the uh, video is. You also create a, a different uh, two different folders so that you know how it's easier for you to manage. And so fmmpeg uh, in the input video is wolf the rate at which you want is like per like you know per second 15 frames uh, what is the scale of the video it is 1920 to 1080 and where do you want the output uh, images to be so it's frames 2 and you just uh, name it frame percentile d.jpg don't worry about this i'll be sharing the code with you uh, so after you press enter you get the you get 445 frames after you got the frames you know choose any image uh, go to the image to image tab, right? Put on the image and uh, resize the image accordingly. So it's like 920 by 512, so that you no, know, I'm using the full, whole image. Now you can actually type your own prompt to get the results, but I prefer using the deep boro uh, model, right? You get the description of what's happening. It gives uh, some in depth prompt. And this works fine for usual cases, but you know, if you are going to customize it, you can mess around with different prompts. Like you know, you want a different style altogether. But for, uh, for this uh, video, I'm I'm, make, I'm keeping it really simple. And now you just have to use the keyword of your uh, model. And for for the ink punk diffusion model, the keyword is uh, Nivink Punk, right? I'll be sharing you the uh, link for the model as well. Um, you just keep the uh, prompts like uh, negative prompts like unclear, weird, you don't want it to be disturbing or ugly, right? And now, now just check it out. Like, no, uh, I kept the sampling steps to 28, the sampling method as DDIM. Like, uh, for many models, uh, custom diffusion models, DDIM works. For the usual models, Euler A works better, right? Um, you. Uh, you can mess around with the CFG scale. You can mess around with the denoising strength and see, like, you know what works exactly. And let's try with 0 0.75. So, and this is the output I got. You can, you can now, you can reduce the denoising strength and see, like, you know how it looks. You can increase it totally. And uh, sometimes, if you increase uh, the denoising strength totally, you won't get images which are uh, completely related. Let's say, like, you know. I put it to one, the denoising strength to one. Let's see what what kind of results I get. Let's see and see. So we get uh, a different image altogether. So now mess around with it and uh, uh, see what works for you, right? Uh, so for let me try with zero point six six. It looked good. Zero point six five looked good. So this works better for me. Yeah. This looks good and now for making it uh, work on the whole video as you all have already converted all the video into frames right you just 
put the input directory as uh, the input uh, the input for your frames directory and similarly for the output right and just uh, you hit on the generate tab and it will generate for the whole video and then you can use uh, you can stitch all the images together for which also i'll be sharing the code in the description below so you can see like you know it is generating images for the frame one this is for frame 10 similarly it will take a couple of hours depending on what kind of gpu you have and what kind of different settings you put it on i kept it on really simple settings but you also have an option for uh, like you know uh, an alternative test there is an depth map uh, possibility as well i'll be sharing more about them in future tutorials uh, so I, ha I hope if you have any queries you know put them down in the comments below i uh, hope you enjoyed this video do like share and subscribe and have a wonderful day thank you